All right, everyone, talking about WandaVision episode six. Spoilers, of course, so if you haven't seen it yet, I wouldn't recommend watching this. There will be full spoilers. So we got our, our Halloween spooktacular episode. Uh, it was funny, the, the opening of this one, you know, we definitely moved into the 90s, and uh, my girlfriend mentioned, she said, oh, it's very Malcolm in the middle, you know, the way it starts off with a little camera intro and, and button in on the parents and the uncle. And yeah, we've got Pietro in this episode, and uh, Evan Peters did a really good job. It, it was interesting because, like, he's obviously not the Quicksilver from the X-Men universe. He's the one from this Marvel universe, and so he did quite a good job. I, I enjoyed watching his performance, um, getting to watch him speed around. And from a story standpoint, it got interesting, too, that, you know, he says at one point that, you know, he remembers getting kind of shot in the street by Ultron, and then he just, next thing he remembered was, like, Wanda calling to him, and so he was just there, so... Uh, something tells me there's still some kind of outside force influencing this that's not just Wanda. I could be wrong on that. Maybe it is just her. And maybe she's just not even aware of like fully what she's doing. But, you know, it was really great to see the town all set up in the Halloween decorations. And, and the show does a really good job of like mixing the the normal with the with the um, um, the unsettling you know you'll see the town and it looks totally normal and then you'll you know run into a person who's resetting the same Halloween decoration over and over and over again because you know they don't really have any control over themselves and you kind of saw that at the end when Vision was getting to the edges of the town and that obviously they're not in control of themselves and like Wanda doesn't have very good control over them or maybe she's not giving them enough emphasis or whatever it is so it was very interesting in watching him try to leave uh, and the and the ending was very good too with Wanda like, okay, I've got to expand it, I've got to make it bigger. And then she widened it. It was really interesting to see like the sword agents get absorbed by it, and they become you know clowns. And then like the helicopter, I think turned into a hot air balloon. That was a really neat sequence to see all of it like what it would become in this world. And uh, Darcy got pulled up inside it as well. And we're not quite sure what happened to her. So it'll be interesting to see that. And then uh, Rambo and. FBI agent, I can't remember his name, they were escaping it as well. So, and they mentioned, you know, trying to find a guy. There is a character I think is going to show up at some point. And we'll see if I'm right or not. But my, my prediction is, and I could be wrong in this, but I have a feeling Hawkeye is going to show up at some point. And it would just make sense because he was the one who was like really tied to Wanda in Age of Ultron and Civil War. You know, he always kind of had a special little connection to her. So, Part of me thinks he's going to appear at one point. Could be wrong on that. Um, this was a really good, like, uh, it, it, this episode did a really good job of balancing, putting more intrigue out there of, again, you have this feel, okay, what's going to happen next? And, like, pushing things forward, but also kind of, again, helping build the world a little more and set a little more and really enjoyed her interactions with Pietro. And so, again, you definitely have this sense of just, like, what exactly is going on? Who is doing this? Is it just her? So, yeah, it was really good. I, I'm a 90s kid, so of course I appreciated the little 90s throwback theme. Uh, that was quite enjoyable. And a nice little nod to the Scarlet Witch and the Vision's original costumes from the comics. It's cool we got to see those. I thought Wanda looked pretty good in it. Vision looked a little silly, obviously, and, and that was clearly on purpose, you know. He wasn't wearing, like, an actual, you know, he's wearing, like, little trunks on, um... And his little headpiece was, like, flappy. So, like, if that had actually been what his body looked like with the android synthetics, I think that, that could have looked pretty interesting. But like, Wanda actually looked really good in that costume. There's always a debate uh, in superhero costumes when they try to translate them directly from the comics. Like, that was with the X-Men films. Like, well, we got to put him in all black because Wolverine will look silly if he's in, like, yellow and blue. But at least in this show, I thought that looked pretty good. I mean, maybe it wouldn't look as good in, like, a full-blown movie that's not set in this kind of idealistic setting. But who knows? Either way... Quite enjoyed it. Very interested to see where it goes next. I think we've got three or two episodes left. So we've probably got, what, the 2000s, 2010s, and then present decade if we keep moving forward a decade a little bit. So, yeah, it's really good. I'm excited to see where it goes next. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye.